welcome to my channel my name is Amina and if this is your first time seeing this face welcome I am a Nigerian youtuber currently based in Canada and if you're not subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I mean you clicked on this video for a reason so you might as well just stay and if you already subscribed welcome back collectively hit that bell notification so you know when I post a new video as you can tell from the title of the video this is going to be a skincare related video this is going to be the first video in my skincare 101 series and in today's video I am basically just going to be breaking down what your skincare routine should look like I will also be providing some of my recommendations in each category if it's something that you're interested in checking out so let's just get this out of the way if you are still in 2024 one of those people that are like oh I don't need a skincare routine ah, da, 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 da. Well, I don't know, something is wrong with you. Regardless of whether you are young, old, or whatever, you need and should have a skincare routine. It doesn't have to be something overly dramatic. It doesn't have to be a 200 step skincare routine. You just need to have the basics, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So the first product you should have in your skincare routine is a cleanser. And if you don't know what a cleanser is, a cleanser is basically what you use to wash your face. So with your cleanser, honestly, I always say that this is the one place where you should spend the least amount of money or the least amount of thought behind it because for the most part you're going to wash it out of your face so you don't really need like a super fancy cleanser of course there are cleansers that have salicylic acid um, glycolic acid and all of that you can have them they're nice but it's not something that would be a massive game changer in your routine again your skin type would determine the type of cleanser you use or sometimes it just depends on preference if you have oily skin if you have dry skin Skin, if you have combination skin it would determine like kind of what kind of cleansers you want to use and for your cleansers we have like oil based cleansers we have cleansing balms and we have your regular face wash like your foaming face wash the oil based cleansers and the cleansing balms are usually used as the kind of like the first base to just kind of like break down all your skin dirt and especially if you wear makeup you always want to use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm it honestly just makes taking off that dirt a bit more easier if you remember washed your face and ended up using a face wipe after and you still see dirt on the face wipe your face is not washed let me just tell you your face either you're not washing your face properly or the face wash you're using is not doing the job properly so I would always advise to have a oil based cleanser or a cleansing balm and then have your regular foaming cleanser I'm going to leave like a list, a list of some of my recommendations in terms of cleansers I have used again it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be expensive your regular um, CeraVe cleanser would do the job your regular um, simple cleanser honestly it would do the job so after cleansing your face the next step is to moisturize your skin and honestly there are different types of moisturizers again the one you choose will determine or will depend on the t your skin type and what your preference is the main purpose of your moisturizer is basically just like the name says to keep your skin moisturized you know you have like extremely dry skin even if you even if you have oily skin that is always the misconception that if you have oily skin you don't want to apply moisturizer because it's going to make you oil more oily or oilier if that's the only word but basically you just have to find the right moisturizer for your skin I don't know if that makes sense so basically for example if you have oily skin you might want to use something like this um, advanced snail all-in-one cream by Cosarex it's really nice with hydrating your skin but it doesn't leave your skin oily it just gives you like a nice glow um, another recommendation I would say would be the Clinique moisture surge um, moisturizer the Vichy moisturizer there are just so many options again I'm going to leave a list in the description so you can just kind of like go through it and see if there's anyone that sparks your interest but again with moisturizing your skin you actually have to moisturize your skin sometimes your skin is actually not even oily but because your skin is always so dry it ends up producing oil to kind of moisturize your skin which now makes you look like you have oily skin but you actually don't have oily skin all you need is to moisturize your skin and you would see your skin just flourish and honestly even if you have dark spots you have um, acne breakouts you have like different kind of skin conditions the first step to kind of solving any skin condition you have is to make sure your skin is properly cleansed and moisturized the next step I would say is to kind of like treat 
your face so this is where after you've done the basics of washing your face and moisturizing it you want to treat your face and this is where your vitamin c comes in i always like to have vitamin c in my routine because i just feel like it's a it's just a good product to have in your daily routine it helps to kind of like help with anti-wrinkles like all the sun our skin is exposed to all the time so yeah i always do recommend having like a vitamin c in your routine vitamin c is a tricky one because it tends to be a bit expensive and honestly from my experience the more hmm, the ones that are a bit more expensive tend to work faster again the ones that are a bit more affordable do they work i personally haven't used a vitamin c that is like super affordable and i have seen a difference that's just the truth of the matter but i would also like oh no i my bad my bad my bad i've actually used jimmy so vitamin c and that actually worked really really nicely and i think that is pretty affordable compared to other vitamin c's in the market so yeah just having like a vitamin c serum in your routine just elevates your like skincare routine to the next level and again i am going to leave some recommendations in the description so you can just kind of like get an idea of the different options out there i have a couple i have personally used that i like and then i have a couple that i have used that people like but i don't like so maybe not that i don't like or i didn't feel like they worked for me so you might want to if you're wanting to try them out to see maybe they would work for you who knows but then next product you need in your skincare routine which is the most important product is your sunscreen because if especially when you start using certain exfoliant certain like treatment products if you are using those products and you're not using your sunscreen my dear you are wasting your time i am one of those people that preach about sunscreen and sometimes i forget to wear my sunscreen but is it good no it is not so you have to always 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 make sure you're using your sunscreen and then there are different types of sunscreen you have like mineral sunscreens you have chemical sunscreens honestly it all depends there are people that are very pro chemical sunscreen some people are pro mineral sunscreen but i had a quote one time and it was the best sunscreen for you is the one you use so the most important thing is basically for you to apply or wear sunscreen and sunscreen again there are so many different types especially if you have melanin in your skin you want to use sunscreen that probably maybe like blend really nicely um there are some sunscreens that kind of like leave a nice glow on your skin for example is one of like the vichy um captain soleil sunscreen it gives you like a nice glow on your skin the bondi sand sunscreen too it's really good and it gives you a nice glow but not everybody likes that some people want to apply sunscreen and have it look matte i have i can't remember anyone off the top of my head for a sunscreen that applies matte but i know i have used a couple of them so i will leave also i will also leave them in the description and that's basically it honestly for your skincare routine that is just the basic products you need you need your cleanser you need your moisturizer you need your vitamin c and you need your sunscreen obviously if it's a night and this is for daytime routine if it's for nighttime you need the same products without the sunscreen and you're good to go if you're lazy with your skincare or you're just getting into skincare and you don't want that routine that would be overwhelming and feel like a lot of tasks to do just having honestly cleanse your face moisturize and protect and then honestly for me in the mornings i don't always use my cleanser especially if i did my skincare the night before because sometimes it's just a bit overwhelming for your skin especially if you're using cleansers that have active ingredients on them so in the mornings i would just use water especially or only if i did my skincare the night before which i always try to do there are days i'm lazy but i always try to do so i just use like water on my face and i go ahead and apply my um, skincare but yeah, those are basically the items or the list of products you need in your basic routine or in establishing your basic skincare routine if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i will be more than happy to answer them the next video in the skincare series is probably going to be talking about skin and um, talking about cleansers i'm basically going to talk about every single step and then break it down into its own video and give like proper recommendations share more details about it so if you have any questions about cleansers moisturizers um exfoli chemical exfoliants i know i didn't mention that in this video because i was just talking about like the basics product the basic products you need for your skincare routine but yeah feel free to leave a comment in the comment section and i will happily see you in the next video oh yeah of course don't forget to follow me on my socials follow me on instagram 
TikTok, Pinterest, and hit the subscribe button, bell notification so you know when I post. Save this video in case you find it, not in case, you will definitely find it useful, so save the video. And I will see you in my next video.